Hello, we are starting the section on daily management for strategy execution. People are coming and thank you very much for all of you that are attending. We will uh, have a lecture from Pharaoh. I will present him to you. And after that, you will be able to make questions in the Q&A tab. So, it's a great pleasure for me to be the moderator in this session. Jose Ferro is one of the pioneers in the Lean community. You saw him together with Jim Omaki, Dan Jones and Jim Morgan yesterday in a section. Ferro participated in the original research at MIT that uh, bring to the world the book, The Machine That Changed the World. And the Ferro founded the Lean Institute in Brazil, was the second one in our Lean Global Network, and he helped several institutes around the world to be established. And now Ferro is uh, in part of the board in the Lean Institute Brazil and also at Lean Enterprise Institute in US. Hello, Ferro. Welcome. Good. Uh, hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I hear we have people from Italy, from the UK, from Colombia in the audience. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for being with us. And we will talk about the data management, a core concept for a lean transformation. And Ferro is co-author of a recent book on that subject together with Robson Gouveia, director of Lean Institute Brazil. So he will, will bring to us uh, some ideas about this important concept, what's daily management, uh, why it's important for a lean transformation, what results we can get from, from it, and so on. So Ferro, please, you can start your presentation. Thank you very much. And uh, for all of you, uh, uh, during the presentation, you can put questions in the Q&A at the end, we can answer them. Thank you very much. Well, uh, this, this presentation about daily management came from our experience over the years, I would say the decade or more, on uh, daily management. Uh, uh, we, we noticed that uh, many companies we're using some sort of a visual management. Many companies as part of their lean transformation efforts were doing some sort of uh, daily meetings uh, in different areas of the company. Um, many companies started to take more seriously their product solving activities closer to uh, the processes. Uh, so we decided to take a more comprehensive approach to daily management. Uh, we noticed that in the literature, um, there's a lot uh, of contributions, but uh, we think we could add a little bit of our contribution based on the experiences we had with many companies. So this represents our learning over you know, this, this past uh, uh, years of uh, working with companies in, in their lean transformation efforts. Um, what, what are some of the main gaps in strategy planning? Um, you know, you can go to the literature, we are not academics, so, uh, but it's interesting to read what's out there and we see a lot of gaps, a lot of problems. Uh, Flavio Picchi, our president, president of the Institute of Brazil, recently conducted some surveys about that in our community, in the Brazilian Lean community, and uh, we heard similar things than the literature talks about. And uh, some of them are poor formulation, uh, the strategy is not deployed, uh, it's bad execution, uh, it's slow to react to changes, and doesn't involve anyone, everyone. So this is some of the issues. And to our surprise, for example, poor formulation was not the most relevant one. So many companies felt that they were able to formulate a good strategy, but when it comes to deploying and executing, then uh, the gaps were, were much higher. So uh, this just reinforces our need 
for a systematic approach to daily management. Another piece of this puzzle is in traditional management, problems are detected mainly afterwards, mainly when the customer complains, uh, when there is a need for a rework, uh, or you have bad results, uh, financial or other performance metrics that you may need at the end of a period. And sometimes the period is very long, like weeks or months. Um, so that's what drove us to think about more deeply about uh, daily management. Because what, what is common with those problems? Uh, they are already too big and the damage is already made. Uh, it's too late. Um, so we have to think about those questions, why they became so big? What could we have done to avoid this? Um, because when problems are small, they are often lost, they're often ignored. So based on those two pieces, how, uh, what are the main gaps in strategy planning and the way we deal with problems on a daily basis when they're still small, uh, this inspired us to think more seriously about daily management. So that's what uh, we, we uh, it's, it's the case for a strong daily management process in order to achieve the strategic objectives that uh, we define by following the targets, uh, in this case, daily targets and solving the problems that we have every day. So the key issue here is every day, you have a process to check, to see if your objectives are being achieved if your specific targets are being hit. And if not, what are the problems that we're facing? And let's try to solve them at the moment, every day. So that's the case for daily management. And uh, in the book, we define basically uh, three parts in the book. One is how to design the daily management process. So how do we define the business priorities, uh, the main KPIs we use for all the key processes, and then you establish the control boards, which I will mention briefly uh, soon. Uh, and then the execution. We define uh, the design of the uh, daily management system or process that you're going to have. And then you focus on the people, the people side, uh, the leadership, the team, and the problem solving activities that are gonna be critical for the success of the daily management activities. And then of course, a PDCA, how you maintain and how you keep improving your daily management process. Um, in the design of your daily management, what are the main blocks, the main building blocks of the daily management process? Uh, we suggested that we need three basic blocks. Uh, the first one is the commitment. The second one is the variables that we're going to control. And the third piece is the problem solving activity. Oftentimes, those three pieces are disconnected. Uh, sometimes even uh, there is a, there's a visual management uh, for those uh, uh, pieces, but uh, they must be integrated. The commitment, the variables, that you're gonna control and the problem solving activities. Uh, so I will go on uh, to be more specific about each one of them. The commitment, it consists of basically the purpose. So we're talking about daily management, for example, in every area of the company, in every uh, value adding process, in every uh, support functions. So we're talking about what happens at the front lines. So this is what we're talking about here. Uh, in the book, you're gonna see a, a, a more elaborate approach, but for our purpose today, I'm gonna to focus basically on this type of what we call operational uh, daily management at the operations level. So when we talk about that, the commitment consists of what is the purpose? Or what is the purpose of that specific area? 
uh, how is that connected with the strategy? How is it connected with the purpose of the company, with the priorities, with the true north? And then specifically, we can ask ourselves, what has been our history? What has been our performance on that specific area? And then how many people we have? What's the qualification of those people and additional resources that we have? So basically the commitment is what are the conditions that we have to achieve the purpose of that specific area? Then after this, after we define this, and this is the, the beginning of uh, the, the building block of, of, of daily management. This is the beginning. This is the directly coming from the strategy. And then what are we going to follow? What are we going to manage every day? So what are the daily targets for that specific process, for that specific area? So what are we, be, are we going to be controlling and managing every day? And, uh, and then what is the help chain? What happens when you have a problem? Uh, even before you start your daily management activities in the, in the, in the process itself, what happens? Uh, and also, what is the help chain in the daily management process? And what are the basic standards? What are the work standards for that particular area? So this consists of this, of this block of, uh, the, of the daily management. And then finally, the problem solving. The third piece of, of daily management is uh, every time in, uh, in the, when, you're, when you're measuring something, every time you have a red, you have a target that was not achieved in that particular day, we have a problem. We need to do something. So for every red, we need a plan to green. That means what are we going to do? What actions we have to do? Uh, what, when, who, and uh, how to address the root causes. Uh, if possible, during that daily meeting, sometimes it's not possible. So you, you need a more systematic approach. Uh, like, for example, you can open a, a problem solving a, a tree, for example, for a more systemic and uh, a problem that needs deeper investigation. So those are the three pieces of the daily management process. The commitment uh, consisting of the purpose, the history and the people and resources, the variables that you're going to control and manage every day, and what is the help chain, and what are the basic standards, the work standards, and then the problem solving system that uh, you're going to use. Um, this is just a, a picture of one, uh, by the way, old, uh, 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 case uh, uh, and 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 you see here uh, visually uh, the connection with the strategy. You see people hey, uh, uh, standing up. You have a leader there talking to the people, and uh, there's clearly that on the left side there. You see the connection with the strategy. So how that specific process and this is a manufacturing activity. This is an area within a company. Uh, what is the connection? Uh, to the strategy of that specific area. And then in the middle, what, what are the daily targets? What are we measuring? What are we trying to control every day? And on the right, you see the problems that are emerging. You see, maybe you can see the image, but you see some reds there. And so for every red, you have to describe what's the problem. And then on the far right, what you're going to do about what are the actions so you see here the three the three blocks of uh, daily management and the and the control boards that we suggest to be used um so uh, this is an image uh, coming from the book uh, so basically what uh, what we do here we have quick meetings to understand what happened and take some actions and of course not only to understand what happened but also understand what are the risks that we may have in the upcoming day. So the idea behind this is every day, uh, a team of people are working to solve problems. And through this process, they are developing their capabilities. So it's a process to, to help achieve the objectives by solving problems 
and by developing the capabilities of the people. How to execute daily management? Uh, it's very important how we make it operational. Um, so basically we suggest that define a time and follow a discipline respecting start and finish. If you have a good day, you can finish early, uh, but to start on time every day, it's very important. Um, 15 to 30 minutes is enough. No, you don't need more than that. Information must be updated. Every day you must have the current information about what happened the day before, for example. And the leadership involvement is fundamental. Without the leadership, um, we, we don't have the success that we may need. So you're going to see here, you know, time management. You see the leadership there. You see the update of the information there. So this is fundamental to execute daily management. What kind of behaviors we expect in uh, at daily management? Well, um, in the book, there is a whole chapter about that. But here I will simplify. And uh, basically the purpose of the leadership is to create an environment that is psychologically safe for an effective engagement. So this is fundamental. This is the job of leadership to create this condition. So the team, the people involved should be comfortable to talk about problems. They shouldn't be afraid of exposing problems. They shouldn't be hiding them. They should be comfortable to talk about problems. It doesn't mean they should be happy about that, uh, but they should be feeling comfortable uh, to talk about that. It's okay to take risk and fail. We are learning. So every day we are learning. So in this learning process, it's okay to take risk and it's okay to fail. Transparency and honesty. The data that we have, the problems that we have, the metrics that we use, the actions that we take, it should all be clear. And it should be there on the board and people should trust those numbers, should trust those actions, should trust the leadership, so we shouldn't be afraid. So eliminating fear, it, this is one piece of eliminating fear because we are talking about something very objective and we are transparent about it. Then we should have, we should, leadership should allow freedom to expose opinions. Uh, we all have different opinions and that's good. So diversity is very good. We don't know some of the answers, so we may need to test uh, some some ideas. So freedom to expose different ideas is fundamental to be able to create this safe environment for everybody. Uh, the the assumption that everybody is learning always, everybody, including the leadership, uh, we don't know many of the answers, so we need to learn, and we need to learn about our work. So we're talking about the one specific area of the company. So it's about the work people do. And don't forget about the first, the commitment piece of, of the daily management, which is the purpose and what are our customers? What is the value of, of this activity? Uh, this is fundamental without understanding the purpose and without understanding what is customer value and who are our customers and what's value for them. Um, you, you have, you with this, uh, you can have a much Product, much more productive uh, daily management process. Uh, what happens without daily management, what we have, just a simplification of the reality, what happens when you have a problem is that it takes some time. This is a timeline and it takes some time for us to take some action and then to go back to the curve, to the previous performance level. Uh, because you, the results only are only checked at the end of the shift or the week of the month. And there's a delay, there's a time lag between uh, we, we, we noticed the problem and we did something to correct it. Uh, so we struggle to recover performance. With daily management, what we have is as soon as you notice a problem, we notice a problem, we take some action almost immediately and then we go back to the previous condition. So the results are followed almost continuously, uh, very little delay to correct variation. 
and the visual controls should be able to help us to see the deviations very rapidly and drive our immediate action. So we reduce this time lag. So we solve problems quickly. Uh, and by doing that, we manage to keep our performance levels where we want them to be. Um, so to finalizing uh, this, uh, daily management is key to avoid surprises, to deepen problem solving. As you, you might be familiar with the, the four types of problem, specifically type two and three. Type one, we expect to be uh, fixed the, the type one problems at uh, while people are working. So basically we suggest that the problems type two and three are, are the types of problem we should be focusing on on the daily management process. It generates learning uh, for the whole organization, for everybody involving everyone, giving a sense of purpose to their work and achieve high competitiv competitiveness. So our performance level is as we expect. And every time there is a problem, we are able to fix them to guarantee the performance we are expecting. Okay, so after you execute your, your daily management process, you should be able to maintain and improve. And in the book, we have one, one specific part uh, to talk about this because we are, we're we're going to be doing Kaizen, we're going to be doing PDCA in our daily management process. And we have some, some tips, some ideas on how to do that. Uh, for many of you familiar with our Lean Transformation Framework, a daily management is a fundamental part of the management system. Uh, you may be familiar with the, the five elements and the questions around the Lean Transformation Framework. There has been a lot of uh, presentations about, about this in our event. Uh, so daily management is a fundamental piece of the management system. Um, and then to finalize, well, we hope to have this book available in Spanish soon and also in English. Uh, and, uh, we have uh, many interesting examples in the book about different sectors, not only this more conceptual uh, description that uh, we mentioned, uh, that I mentioned in my presentation. So this book with Robson Gouveia, director of Lean Institute Brazil, we try to, uh, to do a practical contribution. So we hope that uh, with this book, you can uh, take, your, take some action. You can start doing your daily management or you can improve your daily management by using those concepts that uh, we propose. We have many examples. We have examples in, in healthcare, in uh, agriculture, in manufacturing, in software development, in knowledge creation, uh, in services. Uh, so we have different examples. The concepts are very similar, but how you approach and how you embed it daily management into the management system depends on every case and every situation. Uh, so thank you very much, Flavio, for hosting this event. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really uh, challenge you guys to take a look at how you manage every day what kinds of activities you do every day. Uh, if you are doing uh, 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 problem solving every day, that's very good. If you have metrics that you follow every day, that's good. If you have people joining this, this, this activity every day, uh, excellent. It's all visual, very good. But be sure to connect uh, those, those pieces together and be sure to have the right behavior and the right engagement of the people. With this, uh, you can really execute your strategy. So your strategy becomes live and becomes embedded in what people do every day. And then you have the commitment and the involvement of the people and the alignment necessary to make a successful strategy. Thank you very much. Nice. Thank you, Ferro. Thank you very much for the presentation. And now we have several questions in the Q&A. The first one was about the translation, and you also already responded that. So the second question from Lindsay, how to convince the shop floor leadership to manually update indicators and charts daily? 
how to avoid it becoming paintings on the wall? <laughs> Do you have an example of thin resistance? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, it's, uh, you know, as, as I mentioned, it's a leadership thing. It's a discipline of the leadership. Uh, I, uh, I don't, I, if you, if you, if you, if you have the commitment of the leadership, if you have this process of connecting, it becomes the job of the leadership because then the strategy becomes real and the strategy becomes real only when you, you understand what you have to do every day to achieve those strategic objectives. And what is the connection between your area, your department, to those objectives? Um, you, 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 have to, you have to do it. Just do it. Uh, there is no secret. Just follow. If you don't follow it, then you have to do a study on what are the root causes of this. What's happening? What's happening with your leadership? Uh, because uh, there's something wrong. Uh, to talk about the, the translation, uh, Flavio Piki, we have Juan here uh, making a comment, say, in Spanish, in progress. Okay? <laughs> we don't have a date yet, Juan, but uh, we hope to do it soon. In English, uh, it's on the way. Portugal, yeah. I don't know how we're going to make sure to have this book available. Vera, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be talking to you after this event. We'll be sending you a note. Hopefully we have soon the translations in several languages. Yes. Okay. Another question from Ili, Adam. Often it happens that people come to the meeting presenting only the problem and without thinking of possible solutions. Do you have any suggestions for handling similar situations? Yes. Uh, we at at the daily at the daily management meetings. Every time you have a red, that means you didn't achieve the target, that shouldn't have been the first time you approach the problem. So as the problem emerges, uh, you should try to fix it as it emerges. Well, first of all, the, 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 the employee that has been involved in that should try it first, try something, try to fix it, type one problem solving, okay? If he or she can't, then ask for help, and the help comes. Okay, then uh, and then the help chain should try to to fix the problem as it appears at the front lines. Then, if you can't fix it, or if it's relevant enough, then this goes to the daily management. So uh, a red doesn't go at the board without having an attempt a description, at least a description of the attempt, what you try to do. So you start the daily management looking at a red and then the leadership should ask the following question. What have you tried that didn't work? Because then you start the problem solving process at the daily management meeting based on what has, tri has been tried before and, uh, in the, and it didn't work. So it's not the start of the problem solving process but it's a continuation of the problem solving process because either the worker didn't, couldn't fix it, the help chain came and didn't fix it. So you, so in a sense, daily management is, is one step in the help chain process. Okay, Carol, well, we have the last two questions. If you could answer in 30 seconds each one. And from Fabio, what do not to do when you use uh, daily management? Well, um, I think I tried to answer that. Don't separate. Don't, uh, don't uh, use it for communication purposes or to give orders. It's not a communication process only thing. It's a, it's a performance uh, meeting and it's a problem solving meeting. Uh, it's a, it, it, has, it has this purpose. So don't use it for socializing. Don't use it for just communication. Yes. And the last one from Alana, how can we start in a company with low level of maturity, where the leadership knows nothing about the goal deployment and data management? Well, that's a great way to start. <laughs> that's a perfect way to start. How to start with the management strategic objectives, 
how to make sense to every area of the company. So how every area of the company is connected with the strategy. Uh, you can start, by the way, anytime. If you don't have a very profound, very deep, very solid uh, strategic management process, if, if you don't have a whole uh, penry process, uh, don't be afraid to start. Start in every process. And we have cases in our book that present exactly that. You start at the process level and start defining the metrics that you use every day. You start to, the problem solving process. And then sometimes it helps to fix the strategy. Uh, so don't be shy. Don't worry about that. You start, pick an area and start. Great. I think it was a great final message. So thank you very much, Farrell. Thank you all of you that attended this section and hope you really use daily management in your company to solve your problems and evolve your performance. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, thank you.